Well, you're not going to believe me if you don't believe you can. There's no way. If you, if you create a mental roadblock for yourself, you're not going to get anywhere. So, um, you know, I, I approach every test with uh, with optimism and uh, people might say bullish, but you have to be, you know. You've got to, you've got to fancy your chances, you know. You've got to think that the work that you put in and that the, uh, you know, we've got a, you know, we've had 12, 12 debutants this year, you know, nine of those have been on the back line. You've got to think that every test you play, you, you're accruing seven or eight more caps worth of experience amongst those guys and they're getting better and more comfortable in the environment at that level, the speed of the game. And um, yeah, I think we saw evidence that in the last hit out, that we've got to be able to replicate that against um, yeah, the, the most consistent side being the All Blacks. So if we can replicate you know, even half of that, we're, we're, we're moving in the right direction. You can get points on the board, yeah, every team, you know, if you can get them on the scoreboard and get in front, well that creates pressure. You know, we, we gave ourselves a chance to do that in uh, Wellington. Didn't get the points, uh, but we certainly gave ourselves every chance. Um, so we're able to create the pressure we wanted, and we'll we'll go out with a positive mindset and then try again. Oh, look, it's obviously very humbling, something that I'm uh, very proud to achieve. But to be honest with you, I'm concentrating more on just getting a result for the for the group. You know, I mean, playing against the All Blacks, that, that's the ultimate gauge of where you are as a side. I mean, as Link said, you know, we, we're really happy with the performance you put in against Argentina, but you got to understand that they're going to put a hell of a lot more pressure on you in terms of. You know, the whole game. So, just really looking forward to another opportunity of playing, playing the All Blacks, and yeah, playing well, and, and really looking forward to getting a result. Hopefully. Oh, I just, I, I know you can do the job. He's got all the attributes to be able to play that position. We, we've already, we've made it quite clear that we're playing a first and second five eight type arrangement. So, Matty's been dabbling away in that space since uh, since I came along. I mean, he obviously started in ten in the first couple of games. He's played at twelve. In games already, I think he's got all the attributes he needs to be able to play that position. There's no it suits what how we want to play, and there's plenty of other players out there that uh, play 10 or 12. So I don't think the, the versatility factor is uh, not an issue for us. Um, and you know, I think it's a yeah, he's got a good chance to impose himself in the game in defence and in attack. Would be good. Playing, I've like I've obviously played at 10 a fair bit against Martin. I reckon you probably get more traffic as a 10. There anyway, um, obviously, I'm going to get uh, goes without saying there'll be a lot of traffic at 12 through my own uh, Ben Smith. So, um, yeah, I'm not really too I, like, yeah, I'm not overly thinking about it too much. It's there's obviously going to be a lot of traffic there as a 12, but it, I've just got to focus on our combinations and um, yeah, we'll sort it, sort it out. Oh, look, I think as Maddie said before, I mean, he, he's played 10 and, and he's played 12 before, and they both need to change within the game anyway. Uh, we're, we're looking to play your first five eight and second five eight, so they both will get their opportunity at first receiver, second receiver. So, and, you know, we've prepared well and matched that opportunity at twelve um, when Christian obviously hurt his, hurt his leg in Argentina. So I, I don't think it's you know it's anything different or it'll it'll be uncomfortable for us at all. I've been impressed with him. He's he's um he's, he's a very intelligent player, like in terms of contributing to the you know as much as he's come in. And he's on debut. He doesn't mind contributing to, and he's been given tasks and things on. He's, you know, he's very articulate about the game and how it functions and, and, and the opportunities. So he can convey that, and he can convey that on the field as well. So he can't have enough communicators on the on the field. You don't want guys you who know, are on debut standing there quietly in the corner, um, not trying to get in the way. You want people who are confident and uh, getting in amongst the action, backing themselves, and also. Um, not afraid to you know to voice the opinion and, and, and talk and communicate on the field and he's got all of those attributes so um, you know I think that he'll feel that his journey's been a little bit longer than most uh, most guys get a go a little bit especially in the backs a little bit younger than he has so he'll feel his journey's been a little bit longer and uh, therefore he'll want to make the most of it he won't you know, it's not a guy who's here to think oh well if I don't get it right well, it's been next week he'll be thinking well, I've got to get this right and so I think he'll really treasure the opportunity.